What's going on, YouTube, man? Welcome back to the Two Ways Two Old channel. It's your boy, Woo. And I'm JP. And we're back with another reaction video. <laughs> another one. I swear, I'm not crying. I'm not no, crying. I just yawned, and you know. It's allergy season. Yeah. Just blame on that. Yeah. So if you hear me sniffling and see that I'm out of it, my allergies, and I got a headache right now, but we gotta record. The grind don't stop. It don't stop. But yeah, man, we got a reaction video for y'all today. Another one. We're gonna be reacting to uh the 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 J Lo and A Rod's crib up. $32 million private mansion. That's a lot of damn money, bro. 32 I, man, I just hope it's worth it. Like we have seen a lot of unworthy <laughs> mansions. I just hope the 30 like 32 M's. Yeah, I guess it depends on where it's set up. Yeah. But yeah, man, we're about to react to uh, so the title is Inside J Lo and A Rod's New $32 million Private Mansion. They just uploaded it. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a road show. Second. Oh, it was yesterday. yesterday. Mm -hmm. They uploaded it yesterday. I'm curious. I don't know, because I'm thinking it's about to look to this bit, like the screen. I'm thinking it's probably like somewhere in Miami or. They got, hell, they gotta be Florida. You know what I mean? Uh, but they just bought the they just bought the Mets, right? Or something like that. Yeah, something like that. So that's the only thing I'm like, mm. but I don't know. I'm oh, curious. I'm curious too. I'm excited, man. It's only a, what is it, eight minute video, nine minute video. So it should be interesting. Hopefully they actually show the crib and don't do too much talking. Well, well man, uh, let's get right to this. Well, make sure you like this video up. Turn on post notice. Tell, tell a friend to tell a friend to come check us out, man. So we can rock out, man. Have fun with this, John. Yeah. And shout out to the people that have been commenting lately, man. And they people that have been subscribing. Y'all been doing y'all thing, man. Our supporters is in the comments heavy. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, man. Let's get right to this, John. I'm excited. 32 mil. I don't even know what the hell I would do with 30. If I had 32 mil right now. I'm not buying one property. If I had to buy real estate, there's no way I'm buying one. No. Uh, or, or I'm buying, like, well, let me put this way. There's no way I'm buying one door. Like, I might buy a property, but it's like an apartment complex. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. buying one property with 32 million. Let us know in the comment section down below if y'all had $32 million right now. No, no, no. Don't, don't try to be like, oh, I'm going to donate a chair. No. Be 100% honest. <laughs> what the heck Bro, you will anybody? buy? The first, nah, this is <laughs> the first thing you will buy if you had $32 million in your bank account right now, today. And if y'all are donating to charity, I'm the charity. <laughs> like, hey, my pockets is hurt. It's like, nah. <laughs> I'm the charity, bro. You gonna get that? What? Okay. Huh? Let's get right into this video, man. Let's see, screen recording starting now. Yes, sir. Let's go crazy. So imagine bad. owning a mansion oh so God, large, so expensive, that. <laughs> that it needs a round-the-clock security team? For a superstar couple, J-Lo and A-Rod, that idea is no dream, it's a reality. A $33 million reality. While that number is nearly incomprehensible for most of us, for the A-list lovers who combine net worth as close to $700 million, it barely even makes a dent in that beefed-up oh, bank shit. account. Their most recent real estate acquisition is jam-packed with all of the features you could ever want, and a heck of a lot more. But that's not their only house, nor is it their only lavish purchase. Prepare yourself for jealousy as we take a look at this infamous duo's jaw-dropping new home. Is that his boat? <laughs> if you're in Florida, you gotta get a boat. It might be his boat, bro. You gotta be booked. I think. Yeah, look at the the view. I think this they crib right here because the pool. The view is a little sky. far, and that boat that still kind of big. big <laughs> bro. That's a big ass boat. <laughs> yeah, look at that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not even that. Bro, that's what that drove back. I think that is real estate tools was added to their dazzling portfolio. Yeah, you gotta park your boat right there. Look how small this boat is compared. <laughs> Bro, I'm be like, hey yo, you got you got to park your boat right there. <laughs> like, you can't park that joint down the block. As this long. is you. This is the dude. She said you ain't got worried. Mad is it? 
<laughs> Yo, hell no, bro. Shopping new home. Hell no. The pricey, luxurious real estate jewel was added to their dazzling portfolio nice. in mid-2020. Nice. And with it, they now join the cluster of high-profile, money-laden residents which call the appropriately named Star Island home. The area sits uh, here on a man-made 86-acre island in Biscayne Bay, not too far from Miami Beach in Florida. It's south of the Venetian Islands and east of both Palm exists. Island and Hibiscus Island. As a residential area consisting of 30... What? Bro, it's one way in, one way out of that island. What? That's, that's dope. That is dope. What about that's high dope. tide, though? I don't know, that's all I say. <laughs> Hurricane season stuff probably get real over there. But I mean, they got the money to refix it, so I guess it don't matter. I guess if you got big money like that, you do shit. Bro, like just that. imagine. Imagine like waking up. What I'm saying, are those just houses? Like, to go to the store, you gotta take that bridge out of there? You don't think the store's on that island? Um, it's probably like, I would imagine it might be, I don't know. I, I would I would hope it's like maybe like a couple convenience stores, maybe a bodega or two on that joint, but. More than likely, you probably gotta take Cause that. Because if that's the case, mm -hmm. that's that's kind of trash. More than likely, you gotta take that that bridge to get about it. In order just to go to the drugstore to pick up some damn toilet paper or something, you got drive. But it depends. How long is the bridge? Did they say? Like if it's like a couple, if it's only like five minutes, something like that. You know what I mean? To get to, then you're thinking about like a ten to fifteen minute ride anywhere you go. That's not too bad. But it has to be at the end of the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happens when you get off the bridge? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, now you put it that way, that is a little. 33 hopefully. luxury waterfront home sites. Star Island has garnered a glowing reputation as the most exclusive address in Miami Beach. It's what Beverly Hills is to LA, okay. and what Billionaire's Row is to Manhattan. The properties each boast private docks. They're all a short drive away from the lively South Beach, and the sunset views over the shimmering water are second to none. Even though a guardhouse is sanctioned oh, yeah, at the island's entrance, like giving it the illusion of being completely private, it remains a public neighborhood, and visitors are allowed to drive around, ogling at giant mansion after giant mansion. However, the guardhouse is operational, and it does provide the island with 24-7 security, giving the wealthy residents the peace of mind that nobody shady will be lurking around their streets. The Star Island residents aren't just rich, they're also famous. Sean Combs, a.k.a. P. Diddy, plus Rosie O'Donnell, Latin singer Gloria Estefan, Madonna... Do the only way to ensure... You bad job. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay, so her neighbors is Puff. No, I mean, so... O'Donnell, you know, a lot of rich big money. Yeah. It's a lot of big money on that island. Maybe. So, what would that be like? A spot like that in Jersey? I'm Maybe saying, one. what's the high end part of Jersey? Closer you get to New York, so like Bergen County. Right, like, what do you think, like a uh, Hoboken? Nah, I would say, I mean, Hoboken, maybe, but I would say. I don't know. It's Hoboken and Bergen County. Whatever Bergen County. Bergen County is, I think, is the most expensive zip code in Jersey. Like, the most expensive county. Let me see. <clears throat> I think Hoboken pretty damn. Most expensive. If you want to go by counties. I think it, Hoboken is the most expensive. You think so? What I'm saying, is is Hoboken in uh, Bergen County? I don't know. Most expensive county in New Jersey. Most well, probably... Oh, Bergen number four. Most expensive is a uh, hunter. Then I don't even know where, where the that's hell at. is that at. Because Bergen is a tippy top right from New York. Right, a right, lot right. of people live in you know what I mean. Bergen County. Well, you gotta think about it. Wherever like, which I'm gonna call it, them live. Don't uh, Swiss Beats and Beyonce, uh, not Beyonce. Damn, Alicia, Alicia Keys. Keys they live in. Yeah, they yeah. live in Jersey. Charlemagne live in Jersey. DJ Envy live in Jersey. So wherever they live at probably is. That sounds like a hundred in county. I ain't never, never heard, heard of that either. What's number two? Morris. Morris. I've heard, I've heard of Somerset and Bergen. I never heard of Hunter or Morris. But I'm way down here in South Jersey. Interesting. Yeah, we real far from there. 
<laughs> we in the slums. <laughs> <laughs> what were you telling me? Which held the keys to a Star Island property at one stage or another. While sales are few and far between, oh, wait, the keys to a Star Island property, Donna, Don Johnson, and Shaquille O'Neal himself have each held the keys to a Star Island property at one stage or another. While sales are few and far between, due to a small number of houses, asking prices regularly exceed $25 million, with one particular property originally listed at a sizzling $65 million. It's no wonder that this place has been dubbed Miami's Millionaire's Row. Well, Famous names are scattered around million. the island. However, arguably, the most notable A-listers to call this place home are our favorite recent home buyers, baseball star turned businessman Alex Rodriguez and his marvelous wife J-Lo. Shall we take an exclusive look at their new castle then? We shall. There is only one chance to make a good first impression, and with an absolutely stunning entranceway, this home does exactly that and so much more. The long gated driveway, which leads to the main entrance, is lined with palm trees that are deliberately bathed in emerald green light, giving off a truly fairy tale atmosphere. The focal point of this beautiful garden, which sits on almost an acre of land, is the resort style almost infinity there. pool. So what do you gotta think, bro? At this the point of their career, I mean, I understand it. Do they uh, have kids? I don't know. Do they ever have kids? I don't know. Does J-Lo have kids? I don't know. Does J-Lo have kids? You understand me. Does J-Lo have kids? Fact check that shit. She does. Yeah, she does. But oh yeah, but Mark Anthony. Duh. Oh. Nigga, I asked you. You said you don't know. I'm, I'm saying duh, like why didn't we think of that? I said duh for both. So of she us. probably gonna have grandkids. Probably. She need land, bro. For what? They not her kids. <laughs> grandkids. Okay, so when you have okay. But when you got a lot of we don't know what the house even look like. But you still wanna play outside with your grandkids. What are you gonna do? Go on the boat every day? Go to their parents' house. Why they gotta go to my grandma's house? So you ain't going to your grandma's house when you was a kid? Yeah, but... <laughs> I but I play video games. <laughs> okay, but... But I'm saying... If, well, I'm just if, saying, if, if you want to play... If you want to play with your grandkids, why can't you do it outside? Why you always got to be inside? No, why I you... understand that, but... It's not her job to get land to play with her grandkids. It's the parents' that ha job it's, to have yeah, the kids. You're right, land. but I'm just saying, if you... I guess that's me. When I get older and I have my kids have kids... I'm going to be outside with them. So I'm a heavenly. But what kids nowadays are outside? We're not talking about what. You're not I'm talking about the saying. world's kids. You're talking about my kids. We're going to be outside. I'm saying, bro, kids don't be outside no more. we going to be outside. Bro, I'm, they're not outside like how we used to be outside. You're right, right like, but my kids will. That's what I'm you saying. You say that now. I'm going to be out there with them. You say that now. <laughs> yeah. You say that now. Whatever. Whatever. You say that now. They need land. I'm just an advocate for it. Nah, if, that, if you have kids, if you have kids or grandkids, I feel like you need land. Because, like, I, I used to go over to my grandma's house. I mean, granted, she lived right next door, but I used to hop the fence and play outside. I mean, granted, yes, we come from an era where we played outside a lot. But I, what I'm saying is I played with my grandpa outside a lot. My grandma would come out there and play outside a lot right. with me. So I'm saying I'm going to do that with my kids. So, like, I, you know what I mean? If I, if I had this spot, yeah, we can get in the pool, but that's going to get old. Yeah, we have on a boat, but that's going to get old. I'm going to have a... How's that going to get old? Get it on is. a boat. Every day, bro, it's going to... Why like, not? The water is a playground. Oh, my God. Something of this caliber can cost up to $130,000 on its own. After a quick dip, I mean, Alex can right. dry off on one of the reclining wife. sun loungers on the deck. Spread throughout He's the exterior, retired. you'll also find an additional guest house. A jacuzzi She's that lights up her? like an EDM nightclub. Nice. A fountain. And well, go ahead. I'm, listening. I'm saying, bro, like, if I'm at that point in my career where, like, I'm retired, bro, and I just want to relax and enjoy my life with my wife, by all means, what I need, are, me and my wife, we're going to enjoy ourselves and enjoy our I'm house. I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm just saying. And if I want to see my grandkids, I'm going to go to my kids' house where they'll have land to play with the kids outside. Because if I have a nice ass house like that, my kids is not fucking up my house. <laughs> so you ain't gonna invite your grandkids over. They could come over for maybe dinners and Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, they could not go. <laughs> nah, bro, grandkids can do whatever they want. Imagine. Now listen, listen, bro. When you get that age, bro, think about it. Like your grandparents just let you do whatever because they get like your parents be like, nah, he gonna he gonna punish or something like that. Your grandma be like, all right, when she leave, like you know what I mean? Okay, they, bro, but that's you not. Know, that's gonna be you. 
That's not. You gonna be like, all right. That's not tearing up my crib. It's not. I'm not gonna say you have baby kids, bro. You never know. Anyway, I don't even know who my future baby mom is. <laughs> future baby mom, not wife. Baby mom. <laughs> Annoying. I swear, I can't stand this nigga, bro. An outdoor bar, and of course, These, their I very own 100 foot head, long man. wooden dock, I'm paying that giving much money prime money. access to the Miami waters. That's As we saying. step inside the 14,662 like, square foot home, you'll find 10 bedrooms, no 12 bathrooms, like a huge a library, kids, a dedicated yeah, wine cellar, kids, yes. an industrial 100%. style chef's <laughs> kitchen. Two dedicated staff yeah, rooms they grow and, and they perfect fucking family. huge as hell. The entire house is packed with ultimate comfort and luxury. Hundreds of yeah, acres. Well, plenty of unique Ooh. touches. Antique I'm, I'm buying what I want with my money. Plaid showers and large yeah, arch should. windows to but name a few. For when going upstairs seems like too much of an effort, yeah, the home yeah. also sports its very own elevator. Turning our attention to the master suite, it's <laughs> fair to say oh, that we're just a tad jealous. Oh. Besides the hotel... Oh, this is a smile. YouTube been a little wild, disrespectful with all these ass. They've been hitting us with a double ass, too. That's the fucked up part. Crazy. Like, chill out. Leers and That's opulent really furnishings. Out. It features a giant walk in wardrobe, its own private outdoor terrace, and a private bathroom equipped with a steam shower. The absolutely stunning right. property, which is one of the most impressive we've seen in a long no, time, no, no, no. set the duo back an <clears throat> eye watering $32.5 million. For that kind of cash, they could buy entire blocks in more inland Florida cities. While it's undoubtedly A Rod's most expensive purchase, it's far from the only gem in his real estate portfolio. The former sporting icon custom built his own compound in the affluent Miami suburb of Coral Gables, then stuffed it to the brim with contemporary art, Florida ceiling glass windows, and its very own indoor basketball court. Prior to securing this place, Rodriguez had found that his time spent living in Florida was mostly on the waterfront, which didn't always allow for total privacy. So he went off in search of a more secluded sanctuary and purchased the land for this one and a half acre property back in 2013 for just 2.69 million. The yard is impressive no doubt the window walls can retract to open the living spaces to the sprawling exterior connecting the pool outdoor bar and yeah, in-ground trampoline to the main house more money, more however money. the really remarkable feature oh, is the collection of artwork dotted only throughout the walls the including pieces created by jean-michel basquiat and none other than Amy Warhol. Basquiat. as for j-lo she's the proud owner basquiat. of a number of her own basquiat. properties as well she holds basquiat. the keys to this giant basquiat. duplex basquiat. penthouse in the luxury whitman building in manhattan a 6,500 basquiat. square foot basquiat. property which overlooks madison square park <laughs> from atlantic to pacific there is also the los angeles pad which the singer bought from Cela ward for 28 million back in 2016 an eight plus acre estate in the ritzy bel-air neighborhood this eight acres in bel-air that's the most Acres of somebody ever bought in LA out of the videos we watched. Yeah. Yeah. Eight in Bel Air. For 28 M's. I would do that over the 32 million in Miami. Uh, yeah. Right? I'm going to say yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you pay 32 million for less than an acre, but if you pay, <clears throat> you pay. 28 M's for 8 acres. Mm -hmm. That's different. It's on the West Coast. Yeah. That's the only difference. But Miami is like a storm. Crazy. But that's and another thing. It's just storm. like Bryce. I'm going to say Bryce. Uh, fucking Brat. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? He want to buy land in Miami, which I think is fucking stupid. Oh, he's trying to stay in Miami? I thought he was trying to leave. He wants, he wants to leave, oh, but the last land. video he, he posted, he said he wanted <clears throat> to buy land in Miami. Oh. To ride. Okay. That'll be some stupid shit. Captivating crib spans 13,932 square feet, offers seven bedrooms and 13 bathrooms, and features its very own 30... What do you need 13 bathrooms for, bro? <laughs> God damn, bro. 13 bathrooms? 13, bro. Man, they need to say half. So. <laughs> 13 full bathrooms. Well, that's more than what Wayne said in the song, right? What he said? I got ten bathrooms. I can shit all day. <laughs> <laughs> what he said? I don't remember. Oh my god! I don't remember the lyrics. What I do? Oh my god! Ten. I think ten, yeah, ten, 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 right? ten, 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 ten. They got. She got more bathrooms than Lil Wayne. I thought that was a lot of bathrooms back then. That's crazy, bro. I feel like as a couple. I don't care how many kids you got. You shit. You shit ten bathrooms. You shit ten bathrooms. That's crazy, bro. I feel like as a couple. I don't care how many kids you got. You shit. You should have <clears throat> no more than four. Perfect world, perfect world. Me and my 
I got a master bathroom. Yeah. All my kids, let's say I have, my perfect world, let's say I have four kids. All of them have bathrooms, so that's five. And I would say I have another full bathroom for like guests, and then a half bathroom. So, what's that, six and a half? So I say, you know what I'm saying? I'm like everybody got their own personal bathroom and stuff. I get it, but my kids, if they're, if, when they, if they get to the age, where they need their own bathroom, they need to get the hell out of my house. I'm just saying, like, wouldn't it be dope for you to have your own bathroom growing up? No. Why? So I have my gotta, own room. So you got to share your bathroom. It's my family. I know, but you ain't got to wait. Oh, dang, I used the bathroom up. Okay, I just said two bathrooms. I got two bathrooms right now. Okay, what are both of them taking up? Now you got to wait. Then I wait, girl. What's up? Nah, We're waiting. Nah, I'm bougie. Yeah, you bro. Oh <laughs> the bathroom, room. Seat screening room. The list of properties belonging to this power couple doesn't end there. There's a 19 room, 18 million dollar mansion in the Hamptons, and the comparatively small 1.4 million dollar Encino home in Los Angeles, yeah, presumably purchased for family small. and friends. In 2019, they also bought a Malibu beach house from Entourage actor Jeremy Piven. Bro, how many houses do they got? Bro, they didn't name at least like eight. Nine of them Jones. They just they buy the state. Over, and they all over millions. They all over the United States too. Yeah. Up and well, up and down the east and the west coast. That's crazy. That was my show too, Entourage. And for a cool <laughs> six million, show, as a little fixer upper project. Just a few years later, in July of 2020, they listed it for eight million dollars and found a buyer lickety split. Of course, all these homes have plenty of garage space too, which, considering the pair's out of this world car collection, is certainly needed. Just to name a few, the power couple has been spotted in a Rolls Royce Ghost, which retails for upwards of three hundred eleven thousand dollars, plus a three hundred seventy thousand dollar Mercedes Maybach 57. Oh, and a 150000 dollars 2019 red Porsche 911 Carrera GTS. Alex gifted that one to J-Lo for her 50th birthday. Happy birthday indeed. These guys really how do know how to splurge. But to through. be fair, considering that A-Rod is estimated uh. to flaunt a net worth of $350 million, he can afford to splash the cash on some of the finer things in life. Once we add his fiancé to the equation, that combined net worth skyrockets close to $750 million. 750 puts them miles ahead of the majority of celebrity couples out there. Tom Brady and Gazelle Bunchton are worth just $540 million. Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban are at 325. And Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis sit at 275, which is marginally ahead of Jessica Biel and Justin Timberlake at 268 million. So we're not talking about them, we're talking about a baseball star who took the game by storm and his fiance, the original Jenny from the Block and first female recipient of the Billboard Icon Award. A-Rod's rise to fame and fortune was swift. He'd already become a millionaire at the age of 17 after being signed to the Seattle Mariners in 1993. The following year, he made his major league debut, just a few weeks before his 19th birthday. 22 years in the MLB later, and he amassed a staggering $425 million in estimated earnings, $21 million in signing bonuses, and $4.3 million in incentives. Even though he no longer plays for the Yankees, he still receives paychecks because of the terms of his former contract with the Rangers, which will see him rake in the cash until June 15, 2025. Bro, what kind of deal he signed, nigga? Bro, that's an amazing deal. Bro. Bro. That's an amazing deal. Bro. He don't even play, and he's still getting paid. At who was his agent? I need to know. Since retiring in 2016, the former shortstop has transitioned to a new career focus, expanding his multiple businesses. As for J-Lo, she's now sold over 70 million records worldwide, pulling in money from her music, her Vegas residency, her own makeup line, and guest appearances on TV shows like the NBC competition World of Dance. Back in 2012, as the culmination of her efforts, Forbes ranked Jennifer Lopez as the most powerful celebrity in the world. No wonder they can afford such extravagant homes. How much would you pay for the Star Island man? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to. Million. I don't know thirty-three million dollars. It was nice though. Nah, that but drone was nice. Not a thirty-something though. It was know. nice for just them two, for sure. Yeah, definitely was. For them two, <clears throat> it was nice. So you got think they got they got a state. They definitely got a state. <laughs> definitely got a state. Yeah. That's crazy though. They got hella houses, bro. Hella houses. Wherever they go, they got a crib. 
Well, I mean, it makes sense for like J Lo. She tried. You know, J Lo trouble though. But this thing, A Rod get paid and not even playing the MLB. Man, that, that's crazy right there. That's fire. I need, I, that. I need that contract. I need. That.